In this video, we will be taking a look at hopefully resolving some of those Diablo Immortal connection issues you're having on your Windows computer. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is just pop on over to the Diablo Immortal Twitter page, which the link is in the description below, just to see if they have tweeted any known issues with the servers at the moment, and also if there is any maintenance that's happening at this specific time with the servers, as that will stop you from being able to connect to the game, which will result into a connection issue. So if that's not the issue, then the next thing that we're going to want to do is just pop on over to Google and run a speed test. So go on to Google, type in speed test, and then click the run speed test button. And this is just going to check your internet and you need to make sure that you are getting the correct download and upload speeds. If you are, then you know there's nothing currently wrong with your internet connection. But you could also just pop on over to the provider of your internet service and just make sure they haven't also posted any known issues in your local area. So now we've got all that out of the way, the next thing that you're going to want to do is right click on the start menu icon and then go to settings. We now need to click on update and security and you then need to click on the check for updates button and just ensure you have the latest updates installed for Windows. Also, if you do have a feature update or an optional update available, go ahead and install that as well. Once you have finished updating Windows, then the next thing that we want to do is ensure you have the latest driver installed for your network adapter. So if you're not sure what network adapter you have, you can find this out by right clicking on the start menu icon and then going to device manager. You then need to expand network adapters. And as you can see, I have a Realtek PCIe GBE family controller which means I need to go to the Realtek website and then look for the driver for that network adapter. So go on over to the manufacturer for your network card or adapter and then download the latest driver. If you're a bit unsure on how you can do this, then you can always use Device Manager to see if Windows does have a newer driver available also by right clicking on your network adapter and clicking update driver. Next, you need to click on search automatically for drivers. And as you can see, I do have the best driver that Windows can detect. But most of the time, if you do go to the manufacturer's website for your network adapter, then there will be a newer driver than Windows can detect. So once you've updated the driver, go ahead and launch Diablo Immortal and see if that helped resolve the issue. If it didn't, then the next thing that you're going to want to do is ensure that your security software is not the cause of the problem. If your security software is blocking Diablo Immortal, then you're just not going to be able to play the game. You're going to get a connection error message. So if you have a third party security program installed, go ahead and put it into a game mode or a passive mode and then launch the game and see if that helped. If it didn't, then disable your security software for a short period of time. And then if it works, then you know you need to add the game to the exception list. Just keep in mind that you're not protected from security threats while it's disabled. If you're just using Windows Defender, then you can add the game to the exception list in that by opening up the start menu and then typing in Windows and then Defender Firewall. Next, you need to click on Allow an app or feature free Windows Defender Firewall. And you then need to click anywhere in the list and just press D to see if Diablo Immortal is in the list. As you can see, it's currently not in my list. So to add the game to the list, all you need to do is click on change settings, go allow another app, and you then need to click on browse. Now go to the location where you installed Diablo. Once you're in the location, you then need to select Diablo Immortal Launcher and press open. Now click on add, and you will then see the game in your list. Just ensure that private is ticked. You can now go ahead and press OK and launch the game and see if that helps. The next thing that you need to do is right click on the start menu icon and go to settings. Now you need to click on update and security and then troubleshoot and then additional troubleshooters. Now select internet connections and go run the troubleshooter and follow the steps in resolving issues with your internet connections if it does give you the option. If it doesn't detect any issues then press close and scroll down and you now need to select network adapter and do the same. Run the troubleshooter and follow the steps in resolving an issue if it does detect any. As you can see, it couldn't identify any problems with my network adapter. Once you've done that, then the next thing that you're going to want to do, if possible, is use an ethernet cable instead of wireless. That's if you're using a wireless connection. 
as it will offer a more stable and faster connection, which will help reduce lag within the game and also those connection issues. If you're not able to use an ethernet cable, then try moving closer to the router. If that's not possible, then you can always try using a Wi-Fi booster. However, sometimes these can also cause issues. So if you're already using a Wi-Fi booster, then try not to use the Wi-Fi booster and see if that helped. And like I said, if you don't have one, then try using one. That also goes with network adapters that you plug into the sockets. These can also sometimes cause issues when using them for Ethernet. Okay, after doing all that, and if that didn't help, then the next thing that you could try is to restart your router. Just ensure no one is currently using the internet before you do this, as it will kick everyone off the internet. So go ahead and restart your router. Once you've done that, go ahead and launch the game and see if that helped. If it didn't, then the next thing that you want to do is right click on the network icon in the bottom right hand corner and go to open network and internet settings. Now scroll down and select change adapter options and then right click on your network adapter and go to properties. Next you need to select internet protocol version 4 and go to properties and you then need to click on use the following DNS server addresses and then type the following 1.1.1.1 and then press OK. This is going to use the Cloudflare DNS. I will pop a link in the description below where you can find out more information about what this actually does, but this could help resolve some of those connection issues in the game. If it didn't do anything and you don't want to use it, then just go back to here and go to properties and then just click on obtain DNS server address automatically and press OK and close. For the next step, you're going to have to launch Diablo Immortal. I'm going to go ahead and launch my game now. Once you have launched the game, the next thing you're going to want to do is on the home screen, click onto this button here. You will now be able to choose a server. So you need to ensure that you have a server that is nearest to your location. So I'm in Europe, which means I need to select a server in Europe and you will then see the latency. You want to choose a low latency. The higher this number, will then result into more lag and connection issues within the game. So once you have changed the server, you will now see that it's changed. As you can see, mine has now changed. I selected Dark Wanderer. So after doing all that, and if that didn't help, then the next thing you're going to want to do is just try reinstalling the game as there could be an issue with the install. So I hope this video helped you out and you enjoyed it. If you did like the video, click the like button below. And if you'd like to see more computer sluggish videos, then click that subscribe button. If you do subscribe, then I will see you in the next video.